hybrid maze is one of the most exciting developments to take place in heart rhythm management. During this unique procedure, the skills of cardiac surgery and cardiac electrophysiology are combined to achieve the best possible results for our patients. Initially, the procedure is started by a cardiac surgeon working in the cardiac electrophysiology laboratory. In this procedure, the heart is accessed by taking a scope through the diaphragm and allowing passage of the instruments to the posterior portion of the heart and allowing the pericardial space to be reached. This allows an entirely closed chest model. The procedure is performed with direct visualization of the beating heart. The specialized electrophysiologic radiofrequency ablation device made by N-Contact is a specialized vacuum device that can be placed by the cardiac surgeon in relevant areas to allow for transmural application and development of SCAR. The goal is to recreate the classic maze procedure by placing a series of seven burns along pericardial folds. This animation demonstrates the seven lines that are made with the end contact system by the cardiac surgeon in the electrophysiology laboratory. Both the left and right atrium are accessed and both receive long transmural lesions that take care of most of the procedure that's required to treat atrial fibrillation. There remain areas of the heart that are not reached with this procedure. These require an endovascular approach performed immediately following the epicardial approach. An electrophysiologist utilizing standard electrophysiologic tools goes about making a series of burns within the heart. These burns complete the process. Initially, the epicardial burns attack the outside of the heart. The endocardial burns attack the inside of the heart. Following a complete isolation, we're able to confirm the completeness of full thickness lesions. Following this, we're left with a heart in which the pulmonary veins are isolated and sinus rhythm is restored. This is the best procedure for such patients. The ideal patient would have a large left atrium, preferably greater than five, failed prior ablation, and not have had prior cardiac or abdominal surgery. For further information, 888-4-ABLATE or www.ablate.net.